go, what the freak's going on, you tactical mother humpers. I got a few things to show you. Uh, I just wanted to sh introduce the, uh, my Ruger Vaquero uh, with the bird head frame. Um, been looking at one of these for a long time. If you looked at my past videos, I had a lot of cowboy guns. You know, you, you get into phases with stuff and you get out of it. But uh, I thought I'd like to um, have a nice cowboy gun, at least one in my collection. They are fun to shoot. This is a 45 long Colt. And um, there's not much recoil with a 45 long Colt. Uh, it's, it's really, it's not bad at all. Uh, like I said before, if you can shoot any gun accurate, you can shoot every gun accurate as long as you do the, the basic fundamentals the same way. And this thing shoots great. This is the Talo edition. And as you can see, the hammer is buffed and it has an extra wide hammer on it. And this is the uh, single action only. So these are 45 long colts in there. Don't let the big round intimidate you because it really doesn't have a lot of recoil. This is called a loading gate. It's where you open and close and that allows the cylinder to spin and you to load it. It's a lot of fun. It's good to have one. Like I said, I'm not a revolver guy. I do like cowboy guns, but the reason why I'm showing this, I want to show you these custom grips I got. These are the Hand of God grips. And a friend of mine makes these custom by hand, and his name's Don. And what I'm going to do is, he makes them for, there's a shot, uh, a lot of guns. The 1911s, cowboy guns, bird head frames, regular frame cowboy guns, and uh, a lot of different guns he makes them for. And he does a beautiful job. Look how nice it fits. Okay, just pretty much don't get no better than that. So what I want to do is, if you're interested in, the, in these kind of grips, if you have a cowboy gun or a 1911, I might get them for my 1911 too. Um, they're just so beautiful. Uh, I'm going to put his link under the video, and it'll bring you right to his website, and you can see all the work that he does. And these, the cross is real brass. And it's really embedded and rounded with the grip. So uh, when it's in your hand and you're shooting, it doesn't bother your hand whatsoever. And it's really embedded deeply inside of that material. That's called black bullhorn. Okay? Very, very nice. And as you can see, it fits awesome. So I like to personalize a cowboy gun. I like, I like to personalize all my guns, really. But uh, I was, you know how fussy I am. I was very impressed with Don's work. So I told him I'm going to show his work in a video, and I'll put his link under the uh, video, and you guys can uh, get one for yourself. Uh, he has them in brass or real silver, uh, either one. Real silver is like $140, but if you get the brass one, I like the brass because brass never turns. You just clean it once in a while, it looks like new again. The brass ones are only 80 bucks. That's cheap. 80 bucks for them? Are you freaking serious? That's very cheap. I know guys that sell piece of shit grips for like $70. And they're all plastic and they're, they don't even look good. So, there's a lot of work to making these. So, I just want to thank Don for getting them here so quickly. Uh, 45 long colt, 3 and 3 quarter inch barrel. It's a lot of fun. Single action only. It's beautiful. And I just wanted to show you guys that. Um... I haven't made a video in a long time because I'm really getting busy making holsters, but I finally called up making holsters so I have a little window and now I can make a video. This channel, you really don't see too many videos on a 22. And I don't I don't own a 22 rifle. I do own a 22 pistol and I love it. It's the 2245 Ruger Mark III. That that gun's so much fun. But I did never uh, purchased a 22 rifle. So I said, if I'm going to get one, I want it to uh, be something special. I just don't want a regular Ruger 1022. They're just very plain looking, and there's nothing exciting about it the way they look. So 
they came out with a new one. I wanted a Ruger 1022 because that's iconic. It's been around since the early 60s and it has a reputation like a Glock. It just it's very good quality and it's very extremely reliable. So a friend of mine that I work with, I won't say his name, but here's a little hint. He works a double action. He looks like a colostomy bag wearing supermarket sneakers. He pointed out to me, look at this 22. And I told him, as soon as I get my income tax, I'm getting that son of a bitch. And um, I did. So I'm going to do an unboxing, which I haven't done in a long, long time. This is called the Ruger 1022 Lite. It's very tactical, and it's a takedown. you got to see this. Um, here's the box. It comes in. It's a little bit more money than your average 1022, but you're going to see why. Okay. So, let's open this up. Somebody put a ton of tape on there, but as you can see, the razor blade. It's called a razor blade, dude, and uh, it's like it never happened. Here it is. The 1022 light. You get this nice bag with it. It's a quick takedown. What I also like about it is this patch here is removable. These are probably going to cost you, figure an average Ruger 1022 plane, just a wood one with nothing, blah, they, you know, they're just nothing to them. They're like $260. Then you get up to the other ones that are the that are the, the takedown ones with the synthetic stocks. They're like three something. And now you're getting up to something even like this. It's pretty amazing. I just wanted to show you this. You can take off their logo if you want to, which I will. And you can put on your American flag. Isn't that cool? I like that. Um, <clears throat> so here's the bag it comes with. Now, am I going to leave it taken down? Probably not. But this is a great gun bag for... I could put my MPX in here and stuff. If you want to leave it taken down, this you're going to love this bag. It's a very nice bag. Okay. Shit, I opened it the wrong way. What a douche. Douche nozzle. Okay. There we go. So, as you can see, it's extremely tactical. Uh, I did not get this with it. I got this at Double Action, which we do sell. We do sell them there at Double Action, 25 round magazines. Okay, uh, they're the good ones. They are the BX 25s, made by Ruger. So, very robust. Here it is. It's a quick takedown. It has two stocks. It has a low riser stock, which was on there when you get it. And then they give you a, a high riser stock because I'm going to put on a rail which comes with the gun and then I'm going to put a mediocre red dot on there. Remember guys it's a 22. There is zero kick. There's no reason to put a military grade or a heavy duty red dot on there. Unless you're a guy with a lot of money and you can afford it, go ahead. Uh, if you're going to be out in the weather with this a lot, yeah I'd say you put something really good on there. But if you're going to use it for recreational use and just keep it your safe, you can just go with like a True Glow or you know something around eighty dollar, eighty bucks or higher, should be a decent sight for this gun. Like I said, because there's zero recoil, it'll hold at zero is what I'm saying. So here is the lower, I mean this this the back half. It comes with this slim stock. I put the higher one on. It's very easy to put on. This slides right out. What you do is you take out the sling attachment, unscrew it, and then this will slide out. Slide the one you want on, screw it back in, give it a little, put an Allen key through there, crank it half a quarter, and then uh, it's on there very solid. Uh, this is your Ruger 1022, as you can see. It has a high polish bolt. Okay. I just threw some oil in there and shot it. I put about 100 rounds to it. Ran flawlessly with this mag, ran flawlessly with the little 10 round rotary mag. These are really tough built. 
by Ruger. Uh, it's, it's a rotary mag, so when the bullets load in there, they go into a circle like a snail. Very nice. Okay. Still learning how to put it in because I'm stupid. See what I'm saying? Are you friggin' serious, brother? Can't get that in there? No, you can't. Sorry. Not used to it. Anyway, uh, what I like about it is I like how it, how it takes down. That's nice in case you go somewhere and you're allowed to have that gun in that state legally. Uh, this is great. Man, you just break it down, throw it in your car, throw it in your trunk, and it's, it's awesome. Now, here's, here's the cool part. The front end of it is really, really handsome. Look at that. Uh, they call it the light because it's made out of a very light material. You'll notice as soon as you pick it up, it's the weight is is probably half or a lot lighter than your average uh, 1022. So when you're holding it up for a long time shooting it, yeah, you're going to appreciate that. You don't want a 22 to be heavy. It don't need to be because there's no recoil, no recoil. So if it's lighter, it's still not going to affect your accuracy because the recoil is nothing. It has a threaded barrel. Beautiful. It has these little vents on there. There's your threaded barrel. So if you go through the process of getting a sound suppressed, a suppressor or a silencer, whatever you want to call it, that'll really come in handy for you. Very tactical looking. That's why I like it. Nice short barrel, very short barrel. Uh, I didn't even measure it. So how it goes together is you get all this with it. Oh, I just wanted to show you this too. It has these these flaps to protect the gun. Then you can put all your shit in here. These three pockets. You can put all your shit in there. And then you put the flaps down and it keeps your gun from getting messed up. Another thing that's cool about it is you can customize the bag any way you like. Because these move around. See? Put them anywhere you want. Same with the straps. Put the straps anywhere you want. You can configure it perfectly to fit what you want to fit in there. How cool is that? This is a really, you know, they should sell these bags without the gun. I mean, because you can just make it fit, work with any little gun. How about this for the sub 2000, huh? Wouldn't that be great? Of course, Ruger supplies you with a really nice rail. I'll be putting that on because I'm putting a red dot on this because there's no sights on the gun. So I'm going to, it's going to be very uh, tactical, you know what I'm saying? So let's get, put the bag aside for now and show you how it goes together. This is a new gun, they just came out with this not too long ago. So you won't see a lot of videos on it. I tried to YouTube some videos, I'm lucky I found two. And one was from Ruger. So, okay, here's how it works. You put the barrel into the receiver, okay? You turn it counterclockwise till it drops down, then you lock it in. Nice strong lock up. It even has a tension screw here where you can adjust the tension. I don't want to mess with that too much. I gotta learn about that. That that adjusts something, okay? That's neat. Um the only thing I don't like about the 1022 is, yeah, I just want to show you the whole, get the whole effect here, small down here, is when you lock the bolt back, this is your bolt release under here, it's kind of weird, so when you pull this back and push that in, it locks the bolt back, right? See how the bolts lock back? Now, if I was in a hurry, not that I'll use it for self-defense, but if I was in a hurry for some reason, and I wanted to... Um, sling that bolt forward I have to put my finger under here and I have to maneuver it just right just right to get you have to play with it a little bit to get it to go forward so they have this they have this auto bolt release part you put in there when I'm done with this gun when I lock it back all I have to do to make it go forward is pull that back and let it go and it's going to go forward we're going to do a video on that. I'm going to show you how to install that if I don't fuck it up. Okay. Drilled and tapped receiver. And like I said, I have a mediocre sight coming in for it. It should be here today. 
because I am an impatient bastard and have Amazon Prime and it's very addictive when it says do you want it today? you can have it today and yes how cool is that so it'll be here I want to get more information on this adjustment tension screw here exactly what that's for I don't know what it's for maybe it makes it lock up tighter I'm gonna look into it but it does something really cool so uh, you think I would know that but I just forgot the uh, BX25 magazines work really really well take that out of there and see how it's shaped you're gonna come under you're gonna be under the impression that it rocks in because especially you AK guys it rock it does not rock in you know, you just you just naturally want to do this because of how it's shaped it just pushes straight up in there just like that there's no rocking so straight in um, this is fun man I, I'm, I'm really glad I got this and like I said if I was going to get a 22 it's going to be something really cool looking and I'm, I'm so into the tactical shit I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a whacker you know what I mean I love, I love the black and I like all that stuff some guys like the wood which is nice but this is so nice so so these will probably run I would say around 560 something like that probably somewhere around that area if you're going to buy one uh, another thing that's really important that I've been doing some research and I learned that um, this is I know that's the takedown screw and be careful with that how tight you make that if it's not the correct torquage it could affect the accuracy of the barrel uh, it sounds like bullshit but it's not I have did some research so see what the manual says make sure you have a torque wrench when you're putting your 1022 back together and set put it where the manual tells you to put it it's either 10 or 20 pounds I think it's 20 pounds uh, ask Ruger what they recommend because if you make that too tight it makes sense if you make that too tight it's probably going to pull the barrel too too much out of line and it's going to shoot weird I mean probably not nothing we could probably notice because you know but if you really want to split hairs with this thing um, torque that to where it's supposed to be and that uh, everything will be fine just do what you're supposed to do so I just wanted to show you that I thought this is a really neat 22 um, easy to take down it's, it's this way dummy turn it comes right apart and that's it the Ruger 1022 light doesn't come with that but it does come with this and it comes with that beautiful bag comes with the rail comes with a lock you know it comes with stuff like that okay alright guys when I put in that automatic bolt release I am going to do a video on that step by step showing you how to do that because uh, 110, 110, 22 is like they're all the same it'll work on any of them it doesn't have to be a specific model okay alright I'll talk to you guys soon